doing here is something called finding a volume by slicing. We're visualizing planes perpendicular to the x-axis cutting through this region in the first quadrant. And the cross section is a semicircle. I don't know if you can visualize that, but we're using this formula right here. The, the, the volume of all of these, uh, of this solid can be found by integrating from A to B, in our case, zero to one, of the area of each, each cross section. So our goal is to find a formula for the area of each cross section, depending on X. Well, if I pick an X value here, like 0.5, this distance right here is going to be 0.5 squared because we're on the graph of the parabola y equals x squared. Uh, in other words, the y coordinate of this point right here is going to be x squared. The y coordinate of this point is going to be x. So this distance right here is really the diameter of our semicircle. And that diameter can be represented by the expression x minus x squared, top minus bottom. Now, how do you find the area of a circle? Well, you need to square the radius. So the radius of that semicircle is x minus x squared all over 2. How do you find the area of the circle? Well, it's pi times the radius squared. So I have x minus x squared all over 2, the quantity squared. But we have a semicircle, so we have to take half of that. So a of x equals pi over 2, that's where I bring in the half, times x minus x squared all over to the quantity squared. So our definite integral for the volume of that solid is gonna look like this. We're gonna go from zero to one. Whoops, yeah. Uh, we can uh, kind of pull a constant out. You see if you square this two down here, we get a four and four times two is eight. So we can kind of put a pi over eight out front if you want. And then all that will be left in the integrand is x minus x squared. Quantity squared. Dx. Now to find the antiderivative, we'll square this binomial. Then find the antiderivative term by term and evaluate from 0 to 1. I'll leave that to you. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.